We believe that God is going to raise up a generation of young people to bring spiritual freedom all across Africa. We believe in the power of the gospel and the potential of young people and are so excited about what God's doing here. God has been on the move in our nation. A lot of churches are growing, reaching the unreached. There's a generation that is rising. They are coming up on fire. It's real and it's, it's happening quicker than I thought it was. I believe that God has chosen me for such a time as this. I can reach them, but now, not alone. I should come alone with other people. The leaders feel like this is urgent. It's possible and we are going to impact the world. So let's go, friends, and share the gospel. Let's go and share the gospel. With all souls unto the Lord. Let's be encouraged. It is possible. United Nations calls this generation of young people the largest generation of young people in the history of the world. You saw what the Ghana uh, research came up with, and we are, they say that 63% of young people in Africa are believers, you know? We walked into a public school, 2,000 teenagers, yeah. and we're able to present the gospel, yeah. challenge them to share their faith. And you have that freedom in Kenya. We are Christian nation, but we are not very well disciplined. We had this uh, thing that was like a dilemma uh, for most of the pastors and bishops, and it was how to reach the youth. We have a discipleship issue in our teenagers. They're not showing up in our churches. Even if we put entertainment and we put all those kinds of things, that's not discipleship. That slogan, every young person hearing the gospel from a friend. I was challenged. I wanted to try out. And I reached my friends and two of them responded. And they had the gospel and they accepted. And I say, oh, it works. So I challenged them to go out and get a friend as well. So they got a friend and got a friend and got a friend. I, I kept discipling those ones because I believe young people have the power to influence others. Gospel advancing. It gives real practical tools of living a life, being on mission, sharing the gospel. I love the tools that uh, the day to share give us. This is something that I can take back uh, to the pastors and leaders and say, listen guys, this is something that can help your teens. Having our kids identify who their friends are that need Jesus. We can teach the youth, we can teach them at a very young age their purpose and how to find their identity in the Lord because a lot of you are lost. They just want to know who they are. It is a, a reminder and also a challenge for us. I think the agency of the gospel is something that maybe they were aware of, but just the fluency, just how to share it and how the tool kind of empowers them. I am excited, you know, to see uh, the Dare to Share team coming over. They're not just coming with an agenda, but they're coming to be involved in what we're already doing and helping us to do it better. to be changed by a gospel advancing movement. <laughs>